right, I'm sitting down again. I'm sitting down for a nice, comfy little chat. That's nice now. I've been to brought some coffee in by uh, uh, Betsy and... Matt. Matt, how you doing, Matt? Good. Good. I'm absolutely marvellous. Thank you very much for asking. Uh, we're going to have a chat in a minute. Uh, but first, before I get round to you, Matt, because you're going to do most of the talking, apparently, yeah. which I find very difficult to believe because Betsy's with you. <laughs> uh, well, listen, it's not all about you today, obviously. No. Uh, you introduced me to your friend a, a while back, and we thought, well, we've got a few things going. So, this is over to you. This is your bit. What's going on exactly, and how can the people that are listening get involved? Uh, so, me and Betsy are working together. Um, we've got a number of youth exchange projects coming on within the, uh, this year. We've got, um, these are for 13 to 21 year olds. Um, we've currently got one which is in Sweden coming up in May. Sweden? Yeah. Right. Um, we've just been from Sweden, we've just come back a couple of weeks back um, for their sort of well, initial meeting to discuss the one in May. Um, these are for 13 to 17 year olds. Um, it's with our partner Hello Youth, which is our Swedish partner over there. Um, and they're they're promoting active um, participation in sports with young people from disadvantaged backgrounds. Um, so we're working with uh, a number of different uh, countries. Um, there's France, UK, Italy, Sweden, and Turkey. The sports that we've got going on in uh, Sweden in May, they're indoors and outdoor sports. So we have, I believe, circus um, skills. Wow. We've got canoeing. Um, I know there's gaming as well that we're doing. We have horse riding, creative drama, and other sports activities. We've currently got um, four spaces available uh, for May, which is on the, the day is it? 20th to the 29th of May. And it, all travel and accommodation, food and expenses are covered, um, but there is a participation fee of £25 for this. Uh, €25, Euros, sorry. Um, now, okay, who's this open to? I mean, is this anybody this between the ages? Any, anyone between the ages of 13 to 17, so young people. We would like them to be interested in sports because, of course, it is a sports project that we're doing. and it, the It's 10 days in Sweden um, and it's all sports activities throughout the day. And then we have intercultural nights where different countries get put on um, shows about what our culture is in the UK and what their culture is as well. Wow. Well, this, th that sounds phenomenal and, and almost uh, unreal. I'm just like, so anybody listening now between yeah, that age yeah. can do it. Yeah. They don't believe any kind of background. They just yeah. want to have that will to get up and learn. Yeah. yeah. Good grief. Uh, <clears throat> so obviously they're escorted out there, and I imagine there's lots and lots of people that are going out with them to, as, as well to kind of look yeah. after them and make sure they're all right and safe. So <clears throat> how on earth will people be able to get in touch uh, so uh, we, when's the cut off point by the way midweek next week we can get in contact via our Facebook so Bauhaus Cafe CIC yep um, of course we'll have it on your Facebook as well absolutely we have email address which is info at bauhauscafe.co.uk yep and they can get in contact with us by phone which is 01233 633 444 well, this sounds incredible. It's something that would have been right up my street, but there was nothing like this around when we were kids. There's just nothing now. So the fact that that's is on their doorstep and that can happen. Right, OK, this is a good time to have a little bit of a breather. Uh, get yourself a pen and paper. If you want to find out more information, we'll do that again, in case you're driving or in case you just didn't have anything available. Uh, grab yourself a pen and paper. Uh, we will learn more about how you can get involved in this after a bit of Bruno Mars. All right, are we all happy with a bit of Bruno Mars? <clears throat> Betsy doesn't look very happy about that. <laughs> incredible who comes up with these ideas and how do you get involved in that because i don't understand how this one works uh, explain the logistics of all this because it, it baffles me betsy it baffles me nobody comes up with the idea it's something that's been going around it's called uh, they're ir funded by erasmus plus which which are a uh, european european uh, what can we say uh, Organization. Yeah, organisation that um, care about employability, use. Um, the main main concern of Erasmus is um, unemployment in Europe, and they funded these projects so that young people can learn skills which will make them more employable. And by going abroad and volunteering and doing some cool things, um, it does give you motivation, makes you more confident in yourself. And most of these courses, the, the main uh, aim of most of these youth exchanges are to make young, pe young people more employable and more, I don't know, more motivated yeah. or able.
able to start their own businesses actually to become uh, entrepreneurs as such well and it's also uh, me, it's meeting like minded people that want to get into that kind of thing as well and it's yeah. also visiting the other countries making the world a bit smaller place yeah. again we didn't have that we didn't realise what was at our fingertips and we didn't no. realise we could actually no. go to that level it's a tough gig out there but yeah. I know you've always been pushing for this and you're always backing yeah. up uh, helping the youth yeah I just I just love the fact that uh, I mean I've been to three already this year but I found out about them from a volunteer of mine actually Georgina right. who she had a lot of confidence and motivation issues and she went on a few of these uh, Erasmus Plus funded youth exchanges or she did an entrepreneurship shadowing in Greece and when she came back she was a totally different person she, she had so much confidence she changed her personality had changed and I thought well, Georgina, let's get together and do this. And we applied last year and we didn't get any funding. And then we had loads of people from Europe approaching us to become partners with them and send, uh, become a sending organization. So now we're both a receiving and sending so we can get uh, the young people from all over the world come stay with us here, host them in a family and help them with their skills, as well as us going abroad. And we've been already been to Cyprus twice, we've been to Sweden, Poland, uh, it was, um, Poland, Poland coming up, Italy coming up, more of Cyprus coming up. What else have we got? Turkey, a few ter- trips to Turkey coming up. So basically, so, so, if we miss out this time, man, because there's only four places left. Oh, this this is only this is the only time we're going to do a 13 to 17 year yeah. old. Usually, it's 18 to 30. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that's the one we can talk about that again in a minute. But all those things coming up are going to work. Right. Okay. More from Betsy and Matt after this. Proud sponsors of Wake Up with Weber on Radio Ashford. Fill your vacancies fast with Kent's largest job site. So, Matt, what's your part in all this? How did you get involved in all sort of um, stuff? Uh, is it literally by meeting Betsy or, in, or another way? Well, yeah, kind of meeting with Betsy. Um, I've done sort of Erasmus trips before with um, other charities in Kent. And then I moved down to Folkestone last year and I had an office down there for a bit and that's how I met Betsy. And then this year, um, moved back to Ashford, came home and then catch up with Betsy again and we sort of just were talking and she said, look, I've got a Sweden trip coming up, do you fancy coming along? I said, yeah, let's do it. Just sort of gone from there. And what have you gleaned from it? What have you got from the experience? I guess it's, you meet contacts and you meet sort of new experiences and you get sort of the intercultural nights and that, but... I think like the Sweden one where it was sort of a youth hostel as well and there was sort of meet well, sort of chill out rooms and we were chilling there for about sort of a couple of days and yeah. we met sort of a Syrian refugee family there. Right. They were coming oh, yeah. over to the UK. <laughs> we had and so much fun with the kids. Who, who didn't speak English but we sort of communicated through like yeah. sign language yeah. and that we played pool and cards and watched Netflix with them, which wow. was really nice. Well, you for the, again, what an experience you can't get that, no, can no. you? Generally, that is fantastic. Um, now, listen, we were just talking. This is probably a last chance, possibly, for 13, 17 year olds. So, this is it. Four spaces left only. Yeah. Uh, after that, Betsy, um, you're going to let me know about it. It's then becomes 18 to 30 year olds. Yeah. Similar sort of things, similar yeah. kind of experiences, traveling around Europe. Yeah. Uh, and we'll tell people more about that at a time. But this is the last chance. So, please, Matt, this is the important bit. Someone sitting there now, I know, listening to this, saying, I would love. Uh, my kids to be able to experience this uh, we need to tell them how they can get involved this is their last chance yep, so if you want to get involved we are on Facebook we have uh, Bellhouse Cafe CIC we also we put it on your Facebook page as well Webbo. Um our email address is info at bellhousecafe.co.uk and you can get in contact by phone which is 01233 Six double three and triple four. Brilliant. Afternoons only because we we're yeah. creative and we don't do mornings. <laughs> I love that. I'm I'm creative in the morning. I don't do much in the morning apart from this. In fairness, uh, listen. What we'll do uh, is we'll take a picture because I think that'd be nice. We'll take a yeah. picture of us all in the studio sure. and then we'll post that up. Yeah. Uh, so people can see what you look like as well as uh, what you sound like and then we'll put all that information underneath it as well and we'll show it on the Wake Up with Webbo page and my page how's that sound cool Uh, and hopefully you're going to get your four and then you're going to come back and see me and tell me about all the other wonderful stuff that you're doing yeah yeah of course well don't sound so keen (laughs) yeah 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 yeah, we might do that yeah yeah of course that's more like it (laughs) that's more like it Uh, it's morning (laughs) Webbo I know I'm surprised you actually even came in yeah exactly Um, right okay always a pleasure to see you thanks Matt for coming in all the best with everything else I'm sure we'll be seeing you again soon Betsy you know this is where you live as well so you come and see me anytime you like Um, I'm going to put it in fact why don't you introduce them 
the next song and I'll press the button for you. Go on, oh, do it in your special uh, radio. You know what it is. It's LaBelle. And uh, uh, Patty LaBelle, uh, the Lady Marmalade. <laughs> <laughs> 